Hello and welcome to HD Piano, my name is Dion. Today we're learning how to play Break My Heart Again by Phineas. This is part one. We're going to learn how to play the intro and the first verse. These parts sound like this. One, two, three, four. That would then lead into the second verse, which you're going to find over at HD Piano, as always, with the rest of the song. So we're going to chop it short just there, cover just that first intro and first verse. That'll give you a good idea of the sort of chords we're covering in the entire song as well. So we're going to start this song with a lot of playing around this area of the piano. Middle C is right here, so we're working in this kind of moody area around and below middle C. We've got a lot more piano to use up later in the song, but for now we're going to be down here where it's kind of a bit dark and a bit sad. So the first chord we play is an A minor 7th. In the right hand, we're actually playing a C major chord in first inversion. So we have E, G and C as our triad, our three note chord. We're going to add to this the left hand playing A. That turns a C major into an A minor 7. So we hold this chord down for four whole beats. And as you might hear in the recording, there's a little bit of a roll to this chord. The chord rolls upwards, which gives it this kind of strumming feeling like you're playing a guitar or a bit more of a delicate kind of feel. So you can have a practice of rolling the chords as well. We then move from A minor 7 to a D major chord. Right hand is going to shift to F sharp, A and D. So everything's moving up by a tone. Our C major shape becomes a D major shape. So F sharp, A and D. Left hand plays the D that's below the A we just played. So we have the A minor 7 then the D major. We're going to modify this D major chord a little bit by dropping this top D to a C. And we're going to do this about halfway through the bar on beat 2 and. So we'll have 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. If you're using your pedal like I like to do, it means that you can use use the pedal to actually hold what you've just been playing while you play that next note. Give your hands a little bit of a break. So we've got the A minor 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 and 2 and 3, 4. Moving on, we then go to a G major 7. Now the right hand, well we're playing a B minor shape. So we have F sharp, B and D. Notice it's only one note difference from the D major chord we just played, which was F sharp, A and D. Now we have F sharp, B and D. Left hand is playing G one octave lower than where we started with the A. So we've worked our way down from the A to the D, then to our G major 7. So if you put a B minor chord on top of a G bass, it becomes a G major 7. This really moody, beautiful chord. We're going to hit the top two notes of that chord again on beat 2 and. 1 and 2 and 3, 4. Our fourth chord is an extension on an E minor chord. Our right hand is going to play G, B and F sharp. So it's a little bit of a stretch, a little bit further than a regular triad shape would be. So we've got G, B and F sharp as our starting chord. 
the top note of this chord is going to move. So it starts off with the F sharp, it's going to travel to a G, then down to an E. And you can hear there, using my sustain pedal, I'm able to hold the previous notes down to give that smooth sound. Without it, it sounds like this. Or I'm having to really stretch to keep those lower two notes held down. So use the pedal to your advantage when you can. Left hand plays E even lower than the G. So we're right down towards the bottom of the piano. If you don't have a full length piano at your disposal, then you can make do by playing E a little bit higher up. So feel free to modify if you don't have the full 88 keys on your keyboard. The rhythm with this moving note at the top of the E minor chord, we have on beat one, these three notes. Now we're starting to count in 16th notes. We have one E and a uh, two E and. Notice I played a note on an a uh count. So in 16th note counting, we count one E and a, uh, two E and a. Uh. So we're still keeping in the ones and the ends and the twos and the ends, but in between those, an extra little count. We have one E and a, uh, two E and. At full speed, it sounds like this. Bum, bum, bum. So you might find it easier just to play that by how it sounds. If it's easier for you to play by copying the sound of it rather than counting, then I say go for it. Sometimes counting can help when you're trying to work out the specifics though. So there's four chords again. We had the A minor seven, one, two, three, four, the D to the D seven, three, four, the G major seven, two and three, four. Finishing with the E minor, because we've added an F sharp to that chord, technically we would know it as an E minor 9, being that our scale might have 8 notes in it, so E to E is 8, one more than that is 9. Not so scary once you know how those ninth chords are calculated. The second lot of four bars, that's our intro, the second lot of four bars is where the singing comes in, and it's pretty similar to before. We're starting off with the same A minor chord, our A minor 7th. We then play the same D to D7, the same G major 7. This time we don't need to worry about repeating those top two notes, so we'll just play the chord once, hold it for four, and the E minor ninth chord, rather than travelling up and then back to the E, we go straight from the F sharp at the top of the chord to the E. And we do this on the 1E e and A uh count again. 1E e and A, uh, 2 and uh, 3. That's very slow counting, so at full speed you have bum bum. That lines up with the vocal melody as well. So if you're playing along to the song, you'll have an understanding of where that hits based on how it sounds. So the second four bars, as we just had a look, A minor 7, 2, 3, 4, 1 and 2 and 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 e and a 2 and 3, 4. Okay, so we've gone through two lots of this four bar phrase, we've got one more to go. Now, before I do that, I only just realised by looking at another video on YouTube that Phineas is the brother of one of our favourites here at HD Piano, Billy Eilish. Now he doesn't go by Phineas Eilish on his songs, just Phineas, so how was I to know? But what a cool brother and sister duo. So in the comments below, I want you to tell me your favourite famous siblings. It might be musical, it might be otherwise. I mean, I always loved the Jackson 5 as a really cool young Motown band. Uh, but you might have a different answer. So let us know your favourite siblings in the comments. So this second half of the verse... A minor 7 once more, D to D7 once more, so nothing has changed. This time with the G major, we're not going to make it a G major 7, it's just going to be a regular G major chord. The only difference from before is our F sharp here is now a G. So it's just G, B and D. That might be simplifying a little bit for you. 
taking it just to a regular G major. And lastly, we have another E minor ninth. So this is the same as the first time through, with one exception. On beat four and right at the end of the bar, we're going to play a B. So we'd have one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and. One E. Uh, let me try that again. One E and a two E and a three and a four and. So that's the note that leads into the next section, which has these beautiful flowing arpeggios. And as I said, that's going to be over at hdpiano.com for you to learn the next part. So we have that lead-in note that will lead us into those arpeggios. But other than that, we're done. That's the intro and that's the verse. So let's go through one more time. And once you're practiced with that, we'll move on to the next section. So we have one, two, three, four. Remember to practice rolling those chords. One and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. Three, four. Two, three, four. One, E and a, three, four. Two, three, four. Three, four. Two, three, four. And one, and three, four. Two, three, four. Three, and four, and. Well, that's it. That's the intro and the first verse. Follow me over to HD Piano for the rest of the song. And while you're there, let us know what you would like us to teach you at our requests section. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and we'll see you on Instagram as well for lots of stories every day. My name is Dion and bye for now.